Hello boys and girls. So today just a quick update. Uh, I got some questions from a member with some tracking stuff and how you can track it like with the Google Analytics. I have actually developed uh, my own script so you can like do it in Aweber and I'm gonna show you my computer. So let's go down to the office. By the way, my two girls here is <laughs> sitting there and playing. So yeah, let's go down to the office and check out how I have done it. Okay, so I'm back here at the computer. So I'm gonna share all this stuff with you. I'm gonna link the scripts uh, down here below this video. I developed my own script for Aweber so you at least can get the UTM uh, codes or the tracking into the to the leads so yeah I just like did a simple code to to yeah populate it into the leads on, in Aweber so I'm gonna show you how I did it the first thing you need to do is go into Aweber uh, and create some custom fields and name them after uh, UTM uh, names like th th that Google has. So the first name is source and a good type in medium campaign UTM term And content. If you haven't used the UTM um, URLs before, Google has uh, their own UTM builder, and you just like Google on UTM um, builder, and you will find it on on Google. This is for tracking campaigns in Google Analytics. So if you want to track later on in Google Analytics, this is a great way to connect the both things here. But this this is only for get the right campaign names and sources and that kind of stuff into into the leads. So you can see which lead have come from the which campaign. So the next thing you're gonna do is log into your WordPress and in install a plugin called uh, let me see here uh, called uh, URL param and you just search go to add new plugin and you do a search on URL param And you'll find it here and you just activate it I have already installed it so it's it's I'm not gonna do it on this WordPress and uh, this is only for like you can grab parameters from the URL field up here into uh, yeah into the page so what I did later on is I did a script to populate it into the Aweber uh, opt-in form. Next thing to do is create a sign-up form and we're just gonna create a simple sign-up form into Aweber here. So and now you can see the custom fields are but we're not gonna use them right now because we're gonna do a hidden field and I'm gonna show you this Later on, I'm just gonna, yeah. I'm just gonna have a name and email there and go to step two. And yeah, for now, I'm just gonna do a basic version of the thank you page. So go to step and save it. And I'm gonna install it myself. So we need to grab this. And this is uh, where the coding comes in. So, and I'm gonna paste it into a notepad here and let's look at the script. Uh, the first thing from styling is just like how the form looks like. We need to insert some fields in this form and this is the tricky part because we want to in 
implement them in uh, here when you, you see the email I'm just gonna do it after this one so I'm gonna put it in let's see here and I'm gonna input some code here I'm gonna give you this code this code if is for the the custom fields in Aweber but I'm gonna do a hidden so they're not they're not displayed in the form so now this form is ready and I can copy the whole form and now I'm gonna go and create a new landing page so on this site I'm using Optimus Press as a plugin uh, if you haven't if you don't have Optimus Press, I have a link in the video description where you can read more about it. It's more for like creating landing pages and sales pages and that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna see if I can find a simple one here. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one. Test. Aweber and I'm gonna create it okay so here is the page I'm gonna paste in the code in here and I'm not gonna use the Aweber API I'm just gonna do a custom form uh, as HTML and I'm gonna put a one here because I want an, the order of the name first and then the email and then we're just gonna insert this one I'm gonna scroll down and we can delete this one like this and the next step is to add a new script in the footer that grabs the code and adds it to the form uh, so there is two steps in in this process so you can do a uh, HTML element here and paste this script in here but in Optimus Press you actually actually have a section called footed scripts so you can just add it here and we're not going to add a new one let's insert that one and save it and publish it like this Okay, so let's see how this looks like. Okay, it looks great. So the next thing we're gonna do is just build our uh, UTM link. So let's just put in the landing page here and say if we're gonna run this on Facebook, we just type Facebook and CPC if it's cost per click um campaign name say it, it's uh video and here is the term this is the keyword or the name of the the um, audience you going after and say that we want to have say that we're going after like people that likes tony so this is just like a like what keywords or whatever you you want to go after and if you have like different ads we can add this like just type like this is add one and now you can see that we have a custom URL here and you can read more about the UTM tags here uh, and if we paste this one in here you're probably gonna see some great stuff if we check them if, if we check the page here and see the tracking you're probably gonna see that that tracking here somewhere in the bottom this is actually the script we put in the footer and you can see here it says Tony Robbins so it has grabbed the UTM uh, links and 
added in the, into the page. So let's do a um, test of the form. Martin Strum. And let's just do my own here and get instant access. Okay, so let's check check Aweber now. Let's see what's what is in this subscribers list. So let's do email and we actually have my name here. So let's check out what has happened here. Okay, so now we can see UTM source is Facebook, UTM medium, click per cost. And it's a video campaign and it's the keyword Tony Robbins and it's my ad one. So if this lead afterwards like purchase something or like you can follow it and see, okay, this lead has come from this campaign and you can track it that way. So this is what you can do for now if you want to track it into, um, yeah, like having the UTM codes here in uh, Aweber. So you can like, just like see where the people came from. So yeah, that's all for me today. So have a great day and see you later. Bye.